Hello, I'm Tom Daly, Curator of Education for the Norman Rockwell Museum. Welcome to Norman Rockwell's World. In Norman Rockwell's World, we'll be taking a close look at many of Norman Rockwell's paintings, seeking out those details that help us connect with the artwork. Hi everyone, it's Tom from the Norman Rockwell Museum. We're excited today to share, you, share with you the idea of heroes in Norman Rockwell's artwork. Let's go take a look. Our first slide is Norman Rockwell's triple self-portrait. And this appeared on the cover of the Saturday Evening Post. But just take a minute to look around. There's some really neat details in here. You might notice Norman Rockwell right in the middle of the picture. He's wearing a blue shirt and he's painting a picture of himself as he looks in the mirror. I noticed when I look at him in the mirror and the image on the easel that he looks quite a bit younger on the easel. Well, Norman Rockwell had heroes in his own life. And these four artists that we can see on the other side of the painting, right next to Norman Rockwell's elbow, those are four people he probably would have considered heroes. The first one in the blue shirt with the red hair is Van Gogh. Just above Van Gogh is Pablo Picasso, a man that was working at the same time that Norman Rockwell was working in the 20th century. Then we have Rembrandt and also Albrecht Dürer. Dürer was a man that liked to paint ordinary things, maybe in the same way Norman Rockwell did. He was working though in the 14 to 1500s. Norman Rockwell to many people is a hero. He's created images that we've uh, lived with our entire lives. One of the things I see in this picture that I really enjoy looking at is that glass of soda. It looks like it's gonna fall right off of that book that it's holding open. Artists will do this on occasion to get our attention to important parts of the painting. They'll put something in unusual. And the book that he's having propped open is a book of modern art. The next slide, the next image we'll look at together is called The Runaway. Take a moment just to look around at all the details that Norman Rockwell included in this picture. In the bottom corner of the painting, can you see that red bag? Looks like that little boy put all of his worldly belongings in there and he's run away from home. Well, lucky for him, he found a hero in his own community, a police officer, to talk to and tell a story uh, about why he had to run away from home. I like the fact that Norman Rockwell included the man behind the counter, leaning forward and listening very carefully to what the boy has to say. I might wonder if that man might have run away from home himself when he was a little boy. Norman Rockwell likes to include us in the story but doesn't like to have us so close so we interrupt what's going on. Many of you might have noticed that large brown box above the police officer's shoulder. Believe it or not, that's a radio, and it probably would have been playing some music from the late 1950s when this appeared on the cover of the Saturday Evening Post. I bet you have music that you like to listen to. The next image is a little boy who's brought his dog to the vet to get checked out. Veterinarians are people that make sure our animals are healthy, and in many ways, they are heroes. We might not think of them every day, but when we need them, they're there to help us out. Norman Rockwell used a very clever artistic trick in this painting. It's using the color red to get our attention. Did you see the red handkerchief in the boy's pocket? How about that bottle of red fluid in the foreground of the painting? And around the doctor's neck, we can see a red stethoscope. Those three objects, if you connect them with straight lines, make a triangle. And triangles help us look around the painting and see important parts of the picture. You might notice that now as you look at many other paintings. Can you see that big white square behind the doctor? That's his diploma. It looked like he went to Cornell University, one of the best universities to go to to become a vet. Norman Rockwell wants us to feel like we're part of our own community by creating these ordinary images. This painting is called Alignment. Norman Rockwell painted this in the late 1940s, and it was an advertisement. Take a moment to look at some of the details he included in this picture. Notice how high up in the air that man is as he does his job. He's working on a telephone line to make sure that it's safe and secure. In the 1940s, long distance telephone was just coming into its own. And this was an essential service uh, for people during that time period. Today, if we look out, we might see people, men and women working on our telephone lines. 
our electric lines, and some of our other utilities. These are things that we need to run our everyday lives. If we take a really close look at that man's face, notice how much he's concentrating and working on that small detail of attaching that clip so that guide wire will hold that telephone line securely. One fun little detail about this picture is that Norman Rockwell actually asked the telephone company to install a telephone pole just outside of his studio in Arlington, Vermont. So we would be able to get an accurate look at what a telephone pole would look, up, look like at that height. The next picture we're gonna look at together is called Happy Birthday, Miss Jones. It's really nice to see that the teacher is smiling and pleased with the fact that the kids remembered her birthday. Did you notice on her desk that she has many gifts that they brought in, apple, orange, there's even a nice red flower there, maybe some cookies and candy. Uh, they wanna celebrate their, the birthday of their teacher because the teacher is somebody very important to them. Educators are often those heroes that we find just outside of our household who encourage us to do things that we're not sure we can do. I really enjoy the fact that Norman Rockwell put an eraser on the boy's head who has a red shirt on. Again, activating that color red so we can see not only that boy, but also the rose and the apple that are on her desk. Teachers are special people and educators help us make sure that we can understand and fulfill our own potential. The final image we'll look at together today is called the Spirit of America. And if we look very carefully at this picture, we notice some interesting details. Did you see that big American flag in the back of the painting? Did you recognize Norman Rockwell and Molly Rockwell in the bottom corner of the picture? As we said before, Norman Rockwell is considered a hero in our community and in many communities around the country. I think all of these people, old and young, male and female, are probably heroes in their own way. And notice there are children as well as adults. People can be heroes in their own home, in their own community, and even in their own schoolyard. Norman Rock would like to celebrate the commonplace, ordinary things that happened uh, to people, because oftentimes we don't take the time to celebrate them ourselves. So this week, if you have a chance, please reach out to one of these heroes that are in your life. You can send them an email, call them, text them even, let them know that you're thinking about them. Maybe take a moment to be a hero in your own home. Help someone out who might need a little extra help or even help someone who doesn't necessarily need it but would like to have some more help. And please, we'll encourage you to get in touch with us. We would like to hear from you, um, whether it's Facebook or even Instagram. We'll look forward to sharing more with you in the future. Thank you very much. See you soon.